Oven mitts and hot pads are a necessary culinary tool, but we found most people rarely clean the accessories that come in contact with food, and that could make your family sick. Eight on your side reporter Chris Williams shows us what's cooking in your oven mitt. What comes between you and your food may make you lose your appetite. This question of culinary curiosity came a couple of months ago from an old high school friend on Facebook. One day, Kelly's status asked, how often should one wash their hot pads in the kitchen? We got to thinking and asking around. The most common answer was never. So we asked Augustana College for help. A fomite is an inanimate object that carries germs from one place to another. Microbiologist I mean, Professor Dr. Dara wegman Geedy is an expert in the creepy crawlies you can't see with the naked eye. Bacteria are everywhere, but not all bacteria are germs. Our request was a first. No one had ever recorded what was cooking in oven mitts and hot pads. We collected nine samples. Some looked well used, others relatively clean, and we threw in three right off the store shelf. We did not tell Dr. Dara and her student research assistants the history behind each mitt and pad until after the test was completed. Some of them, I didn't really know how people could put their hand in it and use it when it just looks that dirty. The team swabbed and sampled each item, then began a process to identify the bacteria that took about two weeks. First off, they get a day at the spa. Well, actually, a couple of days at the spa. So we let them grow, we pamper them, grow them up. We'll be able to see um, what we call turbidity. The broth that we grow them in, if it turns uh, kind of cloudy, we'll know there are cells living in there. Um, we'll know that they're growing and dividing and that they're happy with the conditions we've given them. Um, but to actually know what's in there, that's going to take some more work. Researchers tested how the bacterial growths responded to different conditions to determine what they were working with. We're looking for what are called indicator organisms. That could suggest other bacteria might exist on a sample. Researchers calculated bacterial loads. That's reported as cells per one square centimeter. That's just smaller than a dime. The dirtiest of the hot pads tested positive for staph, which is an organism normally found on human skin. But this blue hot pad had a million times more bacteria than you'd find on the same size sample of human skin. We found staph on six different samples and we found E. coli on one. Dr. Dara told us the bacterial levels we found probably wouldn't kill you, but it might make life a lot more annoying. Touching your eye or an open wound after handling a staph-laden potholder could cause an infection. Washing your hands is really important um, after using pretty much anything because, like we saw, even an oven mitt can contain bacteria. E. coli can be extremely harmful if they end up someplace other than where they belong. We found it on this oven mitt, inside where your hand goes, meaning it was on someone's hand before it landed in there, so close to food. All of our samples had higher than normal levels of bacteria than human skin. Even one of the new hot pads tested positive for staph, which led Dr. Dara to this conclusion. On the surface, what we captured was enough evidence to convince me that people really need to be washing their potholders more. There may be more than meets the eye or even meets the micro microscope on these potholders. Chris Williams, 8 on your side. Here's another tip. If you wash pot holders or hot pads after a load of underwear, run a bleach and water rinse through your machine first. That will help get rid of any bacteria that didn't get washed away. 